Hey everybody, Fox Rose here, and we are back to Digimon Story Cyber Sleuth. And in this episode, we are going to at least kick Jimmykin's butt, hopefully. I don't know, we might just do before that? I'm not sure yet. Because I know it all kind of happens in like one whole big ball, so we'll find out when it happens. An evil pilgrimage, you say? In all likelihood, that's where Sakura has gone. And the evil pilgrimage seems to be aptly named. Jimmykin may be a frightful man in more ways than one. And I just finished looking into that music video. That disturbing video was... Ah, Fox Rose, you're here! Hey, what's this all about? Everywhere you go, that Jimmykin video is playing. Does this relate to the questions you were asking, Fox Rose? But look at that! Even here you've got that video playing! The video's got some fiendish stuff encoded into it. I'd try to avoid watching much of it if I were you. And here's where we get the story bits. Wait, what? Fiendish? You may have heard of this particular trick. It's called subliminal messaging. That's used for basically like hip low key hypnosis. It's actually pretty effective if you know how to do it correctly. I mean, they did it a lot in older cartoons too, from my understanding. Subdernal messages. Screw you, Nokia. Subliminal messages. Simply put, messages are sent directly to the brain by slipping images from one video into another so fast they can't be seen. At least, normally. That video is subliminally set to be as addictive as a drug. It effectively hypnotizes you. What's scarier is what makes it, it, is what it makes you do afterward. There's a post-hypnotic suggestion built in. I don't have any idea what you're talking about, but that's what made Sakura disappear? Without a doubt. The suggestion includes a certain URL. The Demon's Den! I couldn't get the whole address, but it strongly resembles the area in which we captured the Digimon Metal Thief. The location is on Kowloon Level 4. Get there ASAP and check it out for me. Darn it, Fox Rose, why didn't you tell me? Because I'm going too! Sakura's my friend, I have to help! That jerk of a devil-worshipping idiot! Is he really, though, a devil-worshipping idiot? I mean, I just consider him an idiot in general. I don't go to school these days. Just kidding! Or am I? What do you think? What? You're not going to school? Either way, it works for me, honestly. I'm not a student, so I'm not going. Something like that. Most of the kids I talk to are today are orphans. Glad we live in peacetime. I really can't imagine a life without my mom. Japan sure is peaceful. It's a great place to live. I really can't imagine a life without my mom. Because as much shit as some people give their moms and dads nowadays, I am not really one of those people. I care about my parents a lot, actually. In fact, so much that almost everything I do is because they helped influence something in me when I was a kid. What could this have been? I have no idea, but they influenced me somehow and I cannot thank them enough. I genuinely can't. And I know neither of them are going to be watching this, but hey. I can at least throw the message out there. It's actually kind of sad to see what some people do. You're one of those sleuths, guys good at investigating? Tell me about it. I'm still a detective in training. Maybe I could help you investigate. Sorry for the little mic bump for a moment there. Okay, no fucking around, we're just going straight in, and 
doing the job. Ooh, sweet. Gecko Mon at 200%. Guess I know what Digimon I'll be grabbing after we're all done here. Boom! Sucker! Just do that. Really? Really? Fuck you! Making me waste a turn. You can go fuck off. Boom! Really? You cannot be serious. Thank you. Yeah! Two out of seven? Three out of seven leveled up. Shaboom! Shimona. I'm sorry, I'm in a really musical mood right now, even though it's kind of laid out. Surprising. Normally, I'm actually asleep at this time. But I'm recording for you guys, so... Whatever that means to you. Ah. <laughs> <sighs> God, all I know right now is that I am so annoyed right now. Not because of this game. In fact, I'm loving playing this game again. It's much easier than the one I've been playing recently. Yes, the one that more than I've been playing recently. Say it like that because I've recently been playing Bloodborne. And everybody knows what Bloodborne is at this point, so do I really need to explain it? Phew! Feels like we're pretty far inside here. Every time I come to Kowloon, I get the creeps. Relax, Nokia. We'll protect you. We can stay with you in cyberspace. Agumon! Gabumon! What would I do without you two? Hey, hey, Nokia, look at that! Wow! Ow! Sakura, I... <clears throat> hang on, hang on, hang on! Stop! What are you guys doing? What's that shiny thing? No way! Torture in this day and age? What's it to you, you know him? How barbaric! It's... it's unforgivable! Unforgivable? Really? So what if it is? Are you gonna do something about it? Yes! Yes we are! White Fox Rose! Well, no shit we are! That's my favorite cyber sleuth! Okay, let's do this! What? You're not doing anything, Nokia? That's right! I'm not doing anything! That's right. It's dangerous. Don't do anything. You need to be somewhere safe and just watch as your friends do as your friend does the fight. Huh? Uh, is that what a real friend is? Is that a what friends do? Uh, oh, jeez, I did just now I feel like just the worst. Whoa, 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 hold up. You think you would just ignore me? Are you kidding me with this crap? I will mess you up. I try to give each of the lackeys their own voice and whoa, Giga Dramon. Hello, Powerhouse. I'm going for you first. Shit. 
gonna do it eventually because there's no way I can do it in that quick a time. And an atomic blaster will end the job. How would I call it? And I'm sorry if I sound like keep having voice cracks throughout the entirety of the last five videos. I'm doing them all one after another after another after another in the middle of the night. So... Yes! Skull Marimon leveled up and slaughtered Wizard Mon! Yeah! Ow. I won't forget this. <laughs> Don't let him get away! He knows where Sakura is! Come on! Come on! Come on! Yes, ma'am! Understood. Hand it over! <gasps> Hand it over now! Oh, that. Okay, okay. I set the data. <laughs> I. Did it. You must stay Now what? You let yourself fall victim to the Digimon capture scam? And find out where Sakura is? <laughs> but I've beaten them at their own game. <laughs> Yeah, but what the heck was the data you wanted so badly? Here, Fatros, take this. What is it? That's where the demon's hideout is. Sakura has got to be there. Ow! Ryota! <laughs> I guess I overdid it a little. This account is falling apart. But forget about me! Hurry up and find Sakura! <laughs> Ryota! I'm leaving the rest up to you. Ryota! Ryota! Where you don't kill? Why are those guys so worked up? Good question! It's because they're going through adolescence! Adolescence? Ew, is that different from the junior high school disease you talked about before? Mm, well, they're similar, but... Junior high school disease is when you become a youth after you somehow manage to DNA Digivolve. I don't really get it, but humans are fascinating. Oh, right, I guess. I mean, Digimon are much more fascinating than freaking us, but whatever. I bet it's like being left home alone. Sorry for making you feel that way. Not interested, huh? No biggie. Just shooting the breeze. Forget about it. Haruta. Haruta-senpai, notice me. I'm not gay in the slightest. In fact, I'm not even bi. So, some of those jokes are kind of on deaf, falling on deaf ears to me, but out of every character in Digimon Story Cyber Sleuth, I gotta be honest, Arata is my favorite out of all of them. Sure, this game doesn't have a huge roster of characters, but the few that they introduce is, well, memorable, and I love it. And to me, the most memorable is Arata himself. I mean, he goes through, perhaps, and debatably, the most character development out of every character in the series. So it's kind of easy to see where some people would say that he gets off easy, and where at points he doesn't get off easy. I personally think that he never, ever gets off easy. But now then, let's take a look and see who can digivolve right now. Not Wizard Mon just yet. Wow. I want to say that is my Otis Mon. I'd have to increase attack before then. Okay. And I'm not going to get Wise Mon because 
wise mod. But let's see what some other Digimon are doing right now. Some are doing good. Okay, yeah, this is the one that I'm thinking about. Uh, go to Patamon. Patam Tokomon Digivolve 2. Patamon! And now you'll be able to Digivolve to Anjumon. Okay. Nobody yet. That happens. Let's take a look in here and see. Still not Leomon. Come on. You're getting so close. Let's see, 133, 132. Okay, Wishermon is the weakest out of everybody, so let's just take a look and see. I have elected to say that I am going to leave the episode right here. And by right here, I mean at the exit of Kelly Level 4. So, on my while I'm making my way to the location, I'm going to leave the episode there, everybody. Well, yeah, everybody should know that. But anyways, thank you all so much for watching today's video. Well, episode of Digimon Story Cyber Sleuth. It's been a long night. I need to go to sleep. <laughs> if you like the video, hit the like button. Comment in the comment section with all your tips, tricks, and all that shite. Uh, subscribe if you're new. Shit in my eye. Favorite the video if you want, but who the hell favorites videos these days? Um, this is Fox Rose. And you know the motto. Rock and roll, losing vixens.